What's up everyone? My name is Cecily and today I have a workwear video for you. This video has been requested by you guys for a long time now so I'm here to deliver and I'm going back to the office a little bit more often now so of course this gave me more reason to actually make this video. In this video I won't only give you outfit ideas and inspo but I'll take you through my capsule wardrobe you know key pieces that I use over and over again to mix and match and create different outfits I have 20 key pieces here and it's seasonless so whenever you are in need of some inspo you can always go back to this video and I think that you can adjust it according to the season add another an extra layer if it's needed but the base of the outfits can remain the same all right let's start with the tops i have five tops one for every day you can say and let's start with the white t-shirt so this t-shirt is from frankie shop and it's in a size small and what i love about this t-shirt is that it's super boxy it has a very long sleeve so the sleeve length is pretty longer than normal t-shirts and that's what i love about it because my arms are pretty much covered until my elbows and if you know me you know that i'm a little bit insecure about my arms so i love that about this t-shirt also the material is very nice it's not super heavy but it's not thin either so um it goes perfectly with different seasons it's uh, of course perfect the perfect basic for summer but also for spring for fall if you're trying to layer it underneath your sweaters or cardigans for example this will pair beautifully with that as well now what i love about t-shirts is the versatility that it has because it can be styled in multiple ways i can style this with the blue denim which is my go-to all the time but i can also dress it up with a nice pair of trousers i can throw on a blazer to make it a little bit more professional so definitely if you take one thing from this video not only for workwear but absolutely for everything all kinds of different styles whatever your fashion style is i think that a white t-shirt is just an essential that you need to have i have a couple of uh, different styles of white t-shirts so i'll link a couple of options for you in the description below all right next up i think you could have guessed this one but it is a white shirt and i would say a crisp white shirt this one is from zara i got it in a size small i think i cut the labels off i always do that because it itches me this one is already becoming a little bit creamish <laughs> so i need to get a new one especially around the armpits and here around the collar but this one has done its job for over three years now but something like this is just so versatile you guys i love the more boxy and oversized fit when it comes to white shirts you can also get the more fitted ones if you want that for a work where i would say if your office is more dressed up and if you work at a bank or you're a lawyer something like that go for the more fitted one because that one looks more dressed up but if you want versatility and you want to wear a white shirt both casually and dressy i would say go for a more boxy oversized outfit because this one you can wear it tucked in all the way you can wear it with a half tuck only in the front you can tie it for a more casual vibe you can wear it as an overshirt over um, swimsuit things like that so there are so many ways to wear a white shirt and i think in a workwear capsule wardrobe it's just an essential because again it pairs with jeans it pairs with nice trousers um, and also you can dress it down with sneakers you can dress it up with heels so yeah this is um second to the white shirt i would say this is my number two or i think it's a tie between those two <laughs> third top that i would say is an essential is a pinstripe shirt especially blue and white stripes but also if you don't have the pinstriped version i would say a just a regular blue shirt another versatile piece because what i love about this one this one is from everlane in a size medium and what i love about it is that it's super oversized again that fit that i just i'm in love with and it's also cropped so it's not super long so it's 
perfect for tucking in without leaving too much bulkiness but also you can wear this in the summer just untucked as well for a more casual look and the material is very thin so it's super breathable and flowy and this one i would say is a perfect piece for spring summer and then if you're going into more fall and winter i would pair this with a cardigan over it or a sweater over it and just make the color maybe show or really depends on where you live and what kind of weather if you have mild weather or not but here in the netherlands our weather is very mild so this is something that i can wear all year round and for the colder months i will probably wear it with a thermo shirt underneath and wear this as a shirt underneath my cardigans yeah it's just another versatile piece that goes with so many different outfits and the final piece for tops i actually told you guys that i have five but i have four because i wanted to drill this down to the bare essentials and i think a bodysuit is just a key for me especially because i wore this bodysuit to the ground it is from zara it is in a size small and i really get, need to get an updated one because it's just almost destroyed you can see here the collar maybe you can see it in the camera but it's just I need to get a new one but this one is so good because it's super sleek I love the razor neck because I can wear this on its own but how I style this most of the time when I'm doing it for workwear is to with a blazer over it because I love that sleek look and feel of a bodysuit you know it's, it looks super sharp especially with tailored trousers that are a little bit baggy if you have something a little bit more form-fitting on the top and then a nice oversized blazer i just love that look all right moving on to bottoms i have five different ones and i have two jeans this one which is a blue straight leg jeans from everlane and my black everlane jeans which i have on right now they are both in a size 28 regular and i can do actually with a 28 uh with a 27 sorry because they are very comfortable but i like my jeans to be just a little bit snugger and what i've experienced is that when you wear them a lot which i have been doing they stretch out a little bit so just keep that in mind i would say to stick to your your normal size because normally i am at 27 i don't know why i ordered this one in the 28 and for this one i still need to get it tailored around the waist so that's why i have this shoestring thing but other than the waist it fits like a dream and the black ones that i have don't need any tailoring so i'll leave them both linked um, in the description with the exact style of the jeans as well but this one is just a classic straight leg jeans it's just a necessity i would say whatever cut that you wear the most that's your essential so if skinny is the one that you wear the most go for that one but if straight is the one for you or white leg is the one that you wear all the time that will be your essential for me i love a white leg a pair of, of jeans but i think that the straight leg looks a little bit more professional in my office setting so that's why i tend to gravitate more towards the straight leg jeans when i'm going to work but also the black wash jeans go with everything they are so stretchy and comfortable but they still look very nice and professional so i know that some office settings you can't really wear jeans maybe only on fridays but my office is pretty casual so that's why i love that i can go dressed up if i if i'm feeling like that but i mostly wear my jeans to work which i'm so happy with so yeah a pair of denim blue and black essentials all right when it comes to tailored trousers these are just a must again especially if you're work um working in a more formal kind of setting this is just must-haves and i chose two different colors because i think that this brownish one it's seasonless but i would say it's more for the fall and winter months actually don't quote me on that because i wear this all year round too and this one this lighter one will be more for the spring summer months 
but honestly I wear them <laughs> I, I wear both colors all the time and this one is from mango this one is from cos both are in the size european 38 and they fit beautifully i would say they both need a little bit of tailoring around the waist but i've actually fixed that with my belt which, which i'll show you later on in the other in the accessories category but if you want it to fit a little bit snugger around the waist for me i will have to get them tailored just so you know but these are another great piece to have because you can dress them down with the sneakers but you can also wear them super chic and professionally and dressed up and look put together with heels so that's what i love about tailored pants like these that they are versatile in that way as well and if you have a blazer that's in the same color you can also wear it as a whole suit which is also such a boss bitch uh, kind of outfit which i love i don't have that for any of these ones but that's just putting it out there another idea that you can look into okay another piece in your capsule wardrobe which is a must i would say is a black pair of pants and because i don't have that i switch it up and because i love leggings i have a black pair of more dressy leggings in this lineup because I wanted to give you guys options that things of that I actually wear and not things that I found in some list on the internet of things that people say are essentials but things that for me are an essential and I think that a black pair of trousers is an essential in the grand scheme of things but I don't have that so it's not really an essential for me i think that the black jeans are more an essential for me in the sense that i wear them all the time so that's why i didn't feel a gap in my wardrobe that i'm missing a black pair of nice tailored trousers but this black legging i wear all the time and during the weekend i wear this more casually but when i go to work i can also dress it up because it's a very thick and sturdy material it has the slit around the ankles so you can dress it up real easily all the time i wear it with my big oversized blazer because i don't want to show my bum you know in a professional setting like that so but it is a very nice way to especially i love all black outfits so this is definitely one one that gets a lot of wear along with my black bodysuit and then a nice black oversized blazer over it it's just a look that i go for all the time all right before i move on to these cardigans i forgot to tell you where the leggings are from they are from another stories and i got them in a size 36 sometimes i forget these talking points but these um are two cardigans um and knitwear that i think are essentials because when it comes to the more chiller or colder months you need something a little bit more substantial like a knit to keep you warm this first one is from another stories it is in a size medium and this one is from h&m also in a size medium and these are just so straightforward they go with everything i can absolutely combine them with all the different pants or bottoms options that i showed you and that's what i think is what makes a capsule wardrobe different pieces that you can mix and match in multiple ways to just expand your outfits right it's not about having a lot of pieces it's about knowing what are the pieces that you absolutely need and that will create a value in your wardrobe so this one i wear i would say a little bit more than this one because i don't know i think it's just a little bit chunkier it's just so comfortable and i wear it on its own i wear it as a layering piece and this one this color i love a little bit more than this one but yeah i would say they get equally the same amount of wear but just i think this one is a little bit more comfy than this one but it just has to do with the fit but yeah i don't think you need both of them although each color will add a different dimension to your wardrobe but if you have just one good pair of a chunky knit that will do all right moving on to outerwear blazers right you have heard me talk about blazers all the time and my two blazers of choice 
are these two colors a black blazer of course 100 but also a nice tan blazer like this or maybe a more beigey kind of blazer which makes an outfit a little bit more lighter than a black blazer i would say is another essential both of these blazers are from everlane they are the same kind of style a little bit oversized and boxy this one is in a size 4 and this one in a size 8 because I wanted the black one to be super oversized because I love that look but if you want something again if your office setting is a little bit more dressed up and formal I would say go for a blazer that doesn't have an oversized fit to it something a little bit more tailored more fitted I would say is a little bit more appropriate for those settings but for me these two work great and again they go with all of the different these different outfits that I'm creating all right the next piece of outerwear which is an essential is a trench coat and this trench coat can take you from spring to summer to fall and for the winter I would say swap this out for a nice wool coat but for most of the year this trench coat will do I love this one. This one is uh, from Everlane in a size small. I love it because it's uh, very drapey, so super flowy. It's not a very structured kind of material and I just love the color as well. It's not the classic camel color that trench coats um, mostly come in, but it's more of a washed, more muted brown color, which I think is just beautiful. It's so, so versatile, this piece goes with i can be wearing anything and just put this over it and it just completes the look that's what i love about a trench coat you know it keeps you warm at the same time but it's also super stylish so definitely if you don't have a trench coat maybe look into getting one and this one is a very good option all right let's move on to shoes when it comes to heels i have two options a nude pair of pumps and a black one this one is not the most classic kind of black pump but this is the one that I have so I'm going for this one whenever I want the look of a black pump I go for this one so that's why for me it is an essential but it's not a classic this one is a very classic silhouette material as well it's just a straightforward matte leather a pump this one is from jimmy choo and this one is from jean vito rossi i wear these to the ground again and they don't show a lot of wear and tear which i love so very good quality if you want to invest in a good pair of heels but again these go with all of the different outfits they are a little bit high so if you're not someone who's comfortable with high heels these are not for you then i would say you go for a more a heel that's a little a kitten heel so something that's a little bit more comfortable but for me these work and i feel like a badass bitch in these ones so <laughs> i wear them all the time okay when it comes to more flat shoes again my office is super casual so these ones are the, the choices for me and a white sneaker is a must-have <laughs> they go with again everything and i wear these all year round and then these boots are for the more colder seasons but also in summer actually i rock these boots and they look super cool and and fly um but i know that sometimes people tend to gear more towards ballet flats or more loafers and that's just not my style i would say so these are the essentials for me but with whichever flat shoes that you'll wear the most does your essentials so again take this these uh, essentials as an inspiration and it's not a call to action to go out and buy ex the exact pieces that I'm showing you here but more to give you a few ideas of how to style different kind of outfits with just a few pieces all right and the last category are accessories and for accessories it's again you're going to work so it's very minimal I have a handbag and a belt and this is the handbag that I use for work this is not the most neutral handbag and it is a little bit flashy I have to be honest but this is the one that I have this is the only tote handbag that I have so I, <laughs> I wear it to work and I have been wearing it to work for over four years now 
and it does its job so for me it's too much of a hassle to switch my handbag every day or every other day so this is just my go-to handbag for work whatever outfit i'm wearing this is the handbag that i go for but if you're more of a, um, a neutral person if you want to you want something that's um not flashy with logos and things with logos and things like that then this is a good option this is from h&m very straightforward it's not real leather of course it's 20 euros but it is beautiful like it's just a matte black faux leather handbag does its job and this is also a great option and then when it comes to my belt this is the only belt that i have that i mostly wear to work especially for my tailored trousers that are a little bit big on my waist i use this belt to cinch in the waist and it does its job again it's not a neutral belt so it's not it is a neutral color but it's different tones of browns it has a take on the patch work effect that's super trendy right now but i love this belt and i have it now for two years you can say i got it from mango and for me it goes with a lot of the things that i wear because most of my outfits don't have any pattern so this touch of pattern goes beautifully with the outfits that i wear that are a little bit plain so this is an essential for me i was also thinking of adding a black belt to this essentials video but i don't have a black belt i do have a black belt but it's more of a waist belt you know those thicker ones that i love to use to cinch in my waist when i'm wearing a, a, a oversized blazer but i wouldn't consider that in, an essential but if you want another belt to cinch in the waist that's a little bit more formal go for this color so brown or black i think those two colors will be an essential in a workwear capsule wardrobe all right you guys that's it for this video i really really hope that you got some value out of this one it was a lot of fun for me to put this one together because i could use my creative juices to put all the different outfits mix and match them in multiple ways so i really hope that gives you some inspo and that you can also see that with just a few pieces how many different outfits you can create so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you next sunday bye